Even Die Hads, Bruins Lightning, Game 3, the big one tonight. Talk a little bit about what the Bruins need to do in order to take home Game 3. Remember, the odd-numbered games are obviously huge. Game 1, 3, 5, 7 usually dictates the teams that win the series. I don't have the stats on my hand, but Games 3 and 5 are usually the teams that win those games usually win the series, most times. And it's overwhelming, too. A couple things to talk about tonight. Series tied 1-1. Keys to the Bruins for me tonight. First of all, the third period takeoff. They've, they've blown the doors off teams at home in the third period. They did it in game one against Tampa where they don't allow any goals and they score two, three, or four. That is a way that they're going to be able to beat this team. And they've already shown they can do it on the road, so why can't they do it at home? Same thing against Tampa, uh, excuse me, Toronto in the first series. They get to the third period tied or down a goal and they blow the doors off them in the third period by finishing. That's Definitely going to bring them home a win tonight. The shallow Corrali at Chari line has to do a better job against Braden Point's line when they're matched up. They've been matching up kind of both with the Stamkos line, with the Callahan line, but Braden Point's line has been getting it done for Tampa. So when Shaller, Corrali, Achari are out there, as well as the Riley Nash line, they have to do a better job of checking these guys and making sure guys like Braden Point and Yanni Gord don't hurt them. Rick Nash, I believe, continues to, needs to produce. He had two goals and an assist in the first game. And if he gets going, this is going to be another big force for the Bruins, especially as far as scoring goals, especially on special teams. Because Rick Nash is a power forward. He's a point-of-game type guy. And he showed that in game one. Hopefully he can continue to uh, produce it now that they come back home. He's broken through with a couple. Tuka Rask has been solid. No softies tonight. That, that goal Palat scored late in the third period was a softy. It gets him underneath, it goes over his shoulder, but it looks like he's getting it and he doesn't get it. High glove. Got to make sure we don't have any softies tonight because softies will kill you in these type of uh, important playoff games. Special teams is a must. The Bruins have to capitalize on their power plays. They've been pretty good with it in game one, not so good game two. They got to do a better job there, and they also got to do a really good job of penalty killing. Basically, the same way they have. They killed off a four minute misconduct penalty against the Lightning in game one that ended up being a huge momentum swing. It just Palak got that soft goal, and it kind of puddled out, put it out there. And the last thing is going to be I still like the defense first mentality. It leads to the pace, responsibility in their own zone, and then it eventually gets them to finish. Um, those three keys are huge because when they're deep, when they're playing defense first, they're dictating the pace of the game, they're using the physicality, all these things that you want to do when you're trying to beat a team like the Lightning that has, can come at you and beat you in many different ways. The Bruins and Lightning are very similar teams. I think the advantage is Rask in the net because Vasilevsky seems like he's there one night and the next night he's not. Hopefully the Boston crowd can get on him tonight and it could be like a Luongo type Stanley Cup final game when we had those few at home. Responsibility in their own zone, they did a great job. Even in game two in their own zone, responsible wise. You know, they're getting the puck out, getting the puck on the, on the wing sticks, getting the puck to center, or getting it out of the zone. That is key. And like any other hockey game in the playoffs, you gotta finish. I expect Pasternak to do something tonight. He's been guts, guts hot at home. You know Berger on the Mosh and bring in their game. And if that line scores, the Bruins win. It's been like that, you know, um, all playoffs. I expect it to continue. I'll check in with you after. Game three tonight. Let's go.